three Kratom or CBD needs. Visit Odds and Ends online at OE420.com. Tanya Nyack, good morning. Love how you say my name with a gusto. <laughs> yes. Hey, that's how we do. That's Good how we morning. do. It's Bill and Jessica Power 1017. Hi, Hi. Thank you so much for checking in. We appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Thanks now, for having me. I would ask you if you're in the holiday spirit, but I already know the answer we to know that. You are. We know you are. We know you're yeah. ready. We know you've been seeing beautiful displays all over. Yeah, I do holidays hardcore this time of year. Yes. <laughs> I start right around Halloween, yeah. and we do Christmas uh, to the T. Absolutely. So the great Christmas light fight, um, the 11th season, you guys got the finale Back-to-back episodes. Now, before we get into, you know, what what we're down to uh, for the season finales, I have to put you on to a place, a place to come. Okay? I just found out about it. It's local. Okay. It's local. And I don't know. You might have already... You might have already covered it. I don't know. Over the years, like your show. Chances are we have. Where okay. Is it? Ocean City, Maryland, Kane Woods. I don't know if you've... Kane it, Woods. Yeah. Kane Woods in, in Ocean City, Maryland. You have I'll to. tell you what, if I haven't been there, Carter might have, but I'm going to look into it. Okay. Let's yeah. see. And if they haven't been on, we're going to get them on. And please do. Uh, look up the Cane Woods Christmas House. Got it. Is it Cane like Candy Cane? K-A-I-N-E. Okay, absolutely the opposite of the candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I, I, I mean it's incredible. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm surprised. How I just became like hip to this. It's probably about 30 minutes from our house. Not, well, not even, not even. Probably like 15 minutes. And uh, you know, I didn't. I'm surprised they're not all over, like on on national news and all that. But it's exactly the kind wow. of houses that you guys do. With so the lights and now, the let music. Me ask you something when you. Sorry, that's good. What'd you say? It just has the lights and the music and all the like the fake snow. It's just incredible to see. So when you guys go there and you see that display, how does that make you feel? Do you feel like a kid again? Like, does, what's that feeling you get? Oh my gosh, it's just like Magical. we're just wowed. Yeah, just <laughs> wowed. Like, it's unbelievable. It's incredible, and like that's what we feel every time we go. But I always say I feel like I got a VIP pass because I not only get this personal presentation of the lights going on but then i also get to walk around with the person that put the display up and they take me through and they show me all the how to's and what they did and the tricks on how they got it going and it's incredible wow well look uh i mean we love the show uh you got the season finale coming up two back-to-back episodes uh talk about it what uh what can we look forward to yeah, so uh, basically one episode will be an hour of Carter, and the next one will be an hour of, my, of myself. Right. Both Carter and I, we travel to four different displays all over the country. So Carter will see four, I'll go see four. And at the end, we pick the winner, and then we go back and we surprise them with $50,000 and a trophy. But what makes it really cool is that as a family, when you're watching the show, everyone has their favorite. Right. So you're watching and you're guessing which one it's going to be. Is it this one? Is it that one? Um, and, and it's fun. It's like you watch it and you're, just, you're smiling the whole time because there's nothing else you can do but smile. It's just such a feel-good show. I know. And, and it's, uh, it, it's incredible some of the displays you see. I mean, stuff you see like – I mean, it is on TV. I was going to say stuff you see on TV in a magazine, but it is on TV. But I mean like the, the, the time <laughs> – The time that it takes. The time it takes. Families. You know, like I think about it, you know, like – it, it takes a lot to have to go outside. You spend the afternoon putting the stuff out, you know, and these people start like Halloween. I mean, it's incredible. It's true. It takes them months to put it up. I'll tell you what, though, it's the thing that stinks. The only negative on the whole show is that we have to pick one winner. Yeah. That's right. the hardest part because they're all so good. And it breaks my heart because they're all doing it with so much love. They're all putting so much energy in it. And they're all amazing, but at the end of the day, that is the show we have to pick a winner. Yeah. And so, you know, that that's the toughest part of, of doing it. Now, last year, your winner was, uh, was that the one from New Jersey? I, I believe so. Um, 
Gosh, I just finished. I literally got home two nights ago from filming this season. <laughs> <My brain. laughs> right, right. It's like mixed wave signals. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe last year's winner was from Deptford, New Jersey, which is not too far from here. Um, and but isn't okay. it isn't it amazing? Like you know, some of these houses, and some of these places where they have the lights are like in like. I mean, they could be in like little small hidden towns out in the middle of nowhere, you know, or it could be in front of, you know, like thousands of people every day. But it's just amazing where some of these places oh, yeah. are mm-hmm. and what they come up with, all the different ideas. Yeah, that's right. We've had some where I've driven in the depths and darkest roads <laughs> to get yeah. to the end. And when I show up, I always tell the producers, I don't want to know one single thing when I arrive. I just want to be as genuinely and authentically surprised as anyone else. So I drive up to pitch darkness. And then only when we're ready to get it started is when I see the lights for the first time. I don't even know the homeowner's name. I don't know their address until I just get it right before leaving to plug into my GPS. So I can't do any research ahead of time. And that's one thing that I... I've always stayed true to in the last 10 seasons of doing the show is that I just want to be authentically, genuinely surprised. But at the same time, I can drive down the darkest road. We had one in Queens a few years ago, and it was, there were, I feel like there was like 100,000 people there for a parade, and they had fire trucks and monster jam trucks and everything, and it was all for charity, and just you just never know what you're going to walk into, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, I want to know what the neighbors think. <laughs> yeah. that, 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 that's what <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> so they're going to have to move out of the neighborhood if they're not a fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know what the neighbors think, you know, after the first night or two. Like, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, the traffic, the people on their lawns, I know. <laughs> do, do, do you have any... I know it's a lot, and I know that, you know, you were saying it's even hard to pick from week to week, but do you have any, like, spots that you, like, will never forget that it was one of your faves that, you know, is just mm-hmm. uh, the biggest memory at all? Yeah, I remember years ago there was this guy, Sam Finney, um, and he, uh, it was miles long. You know, he's an older gentleman. He does it all by himself. I think now he gets a little help from friends and neighbors. But I just remember he was one of the first. And I'll never forget because he's just his heart is just pure gold. Um, so he was one of my favorites. And then even the, the one that just aired this past Tuesday, so you can catch it on Hulu now if you missed it, it was our heavyweight. And uh, I went to the Atlanta Botanical Gardens. I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I saw... Basically, it was a safari in life. So there was life-size giraffes. There was 30-foot-tall dinosaurs, but all covered, just beautiful sculptures covered in life. I mean, the things that I get to see and really get to see up close and personal is uh, I'll never take it for granted. It's so cool. Wow, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Well, look, uh, Tanya Nayak, one of the uh, hosts of the Great Christmas Life Fight, airing on ABC and Hulu, in case you missed it. You can go on there and watch all the episodes, right? That's right. Every yep. single one. Season finale back to back Tuesday, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Tanya, thank you so much for checking in and happy holidays from all of us here. Yes. We uh, we appreciate everything thank you guys you. do. You guys are like a positive, uh, you know, like m- m- puts us in the holiday <laughs> spirit. Uh, I appreciate that. Happy holidays to you guys as well. Have a great day. Bye. What?